AV here. And this is a tribute to horror movies for this Halloween. But this Halloween, I'm gonna have a little fun with the home theater. So, for this Halloween, guys, I'll actually be adding to the Dolby Atmos DTSX surround sound object-based audio setup and adding external power amplifiers to the mix. In fact, what I'll actually be doing is adding two monoblock power amplifiers to each front left and right main speakers of the surround sound configuration. And, well, I'm hoping to ultimately achieve a greater or higher quality of stereo playback through our main surround sound or AV processor. Also, by adding external power amplifiers, we're able to add surround sound channels as well to an already existing home theater setup. For a more immersive and engaging surround sound experience, <laughs> But instead of just watching movies in surround sound, I'd also like to listen to music in stereo two-channel mode in the home theater, but in higher quality than what our onboard amplifiers have to offer us. But usually the amplifiers built into most surround sound receivers these days just don't have the ability to do that task easily. And there's definitely a good reason for that. But before we say that our home theater receivers are certainly capable of playing music in a stereo two-channel mode in high quality, we need to learn a little more about amplifier classes first. You see, not all amplifier classes are necessarily the same, and the circuitry in those amplifiers determines what class it's going to be. And almost every home theater receiver ever made is a certain audio class of circuitry in this case being class H even. But even the most expensive surround sound receivers are usually based off of a class D audio circuitry. Or at least some variation of class D. And for years the different classes of amplifiers generally determined how that amplifier was going to sound. 